Hey guys, got a PS2 here and unfortunately the fan has stopped working. The console is working fine, just the fan just doesn't, no moving out of fan whatsoever. Someone has attempted to repair this before and they've swapped the fan and that hasn't fixed the problem, which almost certainly means it's probably the fan fuse. If your fan's not working, most times it is actually just the fan, replacing the fan does work. And the fan is a lot easier to replace because then getting down to the fuse. This fuse is buried in the console. I've taken the screws off this console just for speed. But, but little ones in the bottom, simple enough, under the little covers. And undoing the lid of the console, just be careful because the button is over here. You want to go, to, just pops out. Next part is to remove all these gold, these one, two, three, four gold screws. Now this is held in by a little cable over here on the fan, so you just don't want to stress that too much. The console should now just pop out of the bottom. I'm gonna flip it over. This is the power supply board. If you just had the console on, you want to be careful here. There's a big capacitor on the other side of this. You want to make sure that could still be holding the charge even with the console turned off. These are a shorter screw than the previous gold ones, so maybe keep them separate. This is just held on, it's, it's, I'll show you when you see when it lifts up, it just push onto this connector so it'll just lift straight up, this connector just comes straight up, this just lifts. Now. If you were just replacing the fan, here's the connector, that would just pull out. And now you can replace your fan. Unfortunately to get to this fuse, this fuse and this board thing is actually related just under this. So all these screws have to come out with the undo this. Okay, there's a couple of little tabs that hold this silver um, shield on. One is here, in front of the DVD drawer. And then you've got two over here at the back.
Uh, you've got ribbon cables all here. By rights, you should probably disconnect the DVD tray from the board. I don't bother because it's just a lot of faffing around with cables. At the end, when you're trying to put it back together, you just have to be careful not to stress them out. Am I missing a screw? No. Yeah, I can use this just to let pop the board up on this side. Just so it doesn't fall away. These are slashy of all these ribbons, so you don't want to let this start going that way and pulling itself. You could go disconnecting them. It's just, just more hassle. Now on this console, sorry this board is upside down to me, this PS5 screw is the fan. Okay guys, I've zoomed in pretty much as far as my camera will allow. The PS5 fuse here is for the fan. As you can see, no continuity. If we go over to our PS8. Uh, the other one, PS7 here is also seems to be broke. I am using a diagram to find out which fuse release because there is different revisions of these boards. This is the revision over here. I, the website I'm taking this from has all different all different revisions and what the fuses are and their locations. So I, I will link that in the description if you want to check out if you're having a similar issue with yours. Okay guys, gonna remove the two of these. I have a habit of never bringing my solder in close enough. I think I'm trying to melt that connector. I picked these up, these up on eBay, but you should be able to. You should be able to. Sorry, I I. I didn't pick them up on eBay. I took them out of a broken console, but you should be able to pick them up on eBay. I'm happy with where that was sitting.
Okay, first step is to put this back on, this little shield, remembering our little clips. All these screws, there's two little gold screws to go here, the rest are all silver ones, they just go around. Just if you're left wondering where the gold screws came from. Okay, the next part, don't forget to reattach your fan. Okay. I'll just sit there for a minute. And then this plastic bit. Remember to line your splines up. Now I nearly made a mistake here. Which I've done before. Easy do. Maybe on the underside. And it's just your four short gold screws. Okay, when we've got to this part, we're dropping our console back into the bottom. show you this that there's a post that comes up here I like to try and keep the cable from the fan on this side of it because it makes sure then that the cable stays away from the power connector which is here so just try and keep that so that now that that cable can't ever wander over To the power connector which is there
Now you've got your screws for your controller port. Now we're here we might want to see if the fix works. I hope you can see that. There you can see the fan is stopped. And there they started back up. Just remember when you're putting your lid back on guys, just to go careful. I damaged a few of these myself. I kind of fold it in here and then go over, it goes over the post like that. And then it kind of sits flat then as you push your lid back on. I have just damaged a few of them myself and it's so annoying. I'm not going to show up putting the bottom screws back in, it's fairly straightforward. That's it guys, this one's fixed, fan's back working, it was working fine other than the fan. Thanks for watching guys.